today I specifically want to help you with online dating photos. Are your photos working for you or against you? I am Raika Yafway, the founder and CEO of Dating with Confidence, and I love creating these episodes because it's really a way that I can connect with you, lovely, savvy, smart women who are out there in the, you know, internet trying to get the right information to create your love life. And I know that when I was single, that was definitely something I was searching and learning and that's really one of the reasons I became a dating coach because for me, finding love, having love, giving love, receiving love, all of it is so, so important in my life. And I wanna make sure that you can get also the information that's gonna fast track your dating process and you know help you find the man that you wanna be with. So. Are you dating online? Are you using online dating as a form to meeting men? Well, I sure hope you are. I'm a big um, kind of like uh, supporter of that idea because I found the love of my life on okcupid.com and uh, we have, you know, become life partners and I just love him to pieces and I know that online dating works many of my clients have gotten married, engaged, and are in relationships because they also did online dating. And I'm not saying it's the end all be all of dating. Um, it is, you know, it's a tool. It's a tool to use to meet more men, really. That's what it is. And our times have changed and we can talk about that at a different time. But today I specifically want to help you with online dating photos. Are your photos working for you or against you. So I have created five um, tips specifically for this episode that I'm gonna share with you to help you, you know, take an inventory, go look at your online dating profiles and see what, you know, uh, what, uh, if they're in alignment with what I'm saying so that you can have a guideline and not kind of like go out in the you know internet world and trying to make it work and then you know getting disappointed if it doesn't work and these are some of the things you could do to boost your um, chances at meeting the right men so let's talk about it you ready let's go okay so first and foremost you want to so here's the deal let's talk about generally with photos ladies whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, you know, um, finding love has a lot to do at that very initial connection um, with, um, you know, um, attraction and um, all, you know, like, and, and guys are by nature, um, they, uh, the first thing they do when they go online is like they see with their eyes, they find with their eyes. So, um, and, and I have to tell you, for me, that was also the thing. Like I really valued guys uh, that I met online that had put thoughts into their photos, you know, that they didn't put selfie after selfie after selfie, that um, they showed a character and that more, most importantly, that their face showed me kindness and warmth. So it's really important that you understand that, you know, um, when we are putting ourselves out there as a date situation, that that initial kind of the way we carry ourselves initially is important. It's not the end all be all. I don't want you to think that I'm saying only you have to be pretty to be taken. That is not what I'm saying. You know, um, what I am saying is no matter what height you are, what weight you are, uh, what culture you're from, what color your skin is, you are beautiful. So learn how to accentuate your 
beauty. Does that make sense? Um, I am a, uh, by standards that are out there, I'm a shorter person, I'm five foot two. And, um, you know, I could have said, well, I will never find a guy who will be attracted to me because I am short and only short guys would go, you know, want to be with me. Or I'm Iranian, so therefore just Iranians would want to be with me. But I'm with a six foot four guy who is American. And so it really, don't limit yourselves in that way. Find what is amazing about you and accentuate that in your photos. So let's talk about what are some of the things that you can do to help you with your photos online to attract um, your man? So here's the deal. Number one, make sure that you have a close up um, of your face. Um, in my case, I'm an opera singer as well. For those of you who don't know, I'm a professional opera singer. So I had professional headshots done of me and um, one of the things that's really important for me uh, is that what are my eyes saying? Um, and I really want you to invest in a you know nicer quality photo. I'm not saying go heavily Photoshop it, go put on so much makeup on that it's not you. I'm not talking about that at all. I want you to work with maybe uh, somebody who, even a friend who knows how to take photos, that's gonna help you um, help, you know, bring out your smile and your gaze and your amazing personality in your photos. That's what I mean. So um, are you getting, you know, get a close up um, photo because not only your eyes are going to be speaking to him, but also your smile. They want to see your smile and they want to connect to you through your eyes. So that's really important. Number two, make sure you also have a full body shot. Again, it doesn't matter what form or shape or height or weight you are. What matters is you are you and you're presenting yourself at your best in these photos, okay? There is an amazing guy for every type of man. If I can find a man who is by far taller than me when I literally am like here and he's here, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because even if you're more curvy, believe me, there are guys out there who are dying to be just with that. But just make sure you understand that guys want to know who you are, you know, because then you are going to be attracting the kind of guys that are going to be digging you, that are going to be attracted to you. But when you hide it and then you surprise them, well, you've wasted both of your times, right? I'm sure you have gone on dates that the guy didn't really look like what he was on, you know, on the internet and you're like, what a waste of time, right? Okay, which brings me to the third point. Make sure that you are using a recent photo. I don't care how much you look like your past, make sure you are using your recent photo. And that is because when you show up, on your date, if you look different than the photos that you have put online, it's such a turnoff. It is like as if you purposefully are hiding something about yourself. Not only it shows that you're not confident and you're not mindful of somebody else's time, but it also shows that you are hiding something and it it just it's just such a turnoff. If you don't like that then don't do that yourself either. So make sure that your photos are completely recent. All right, this is really important. Make sure that, um, and this is number four. So when you are putting your photos uh, on there, I always tell my clients, make sure you put photos of activities that you like to do. If it's painting, if it's sing, for me it was singing and being on stage. Um, if it's running, if it's hiking, if it's swimming, whatever it is, you know, um, kayaking, whatever it is, when you are putting activity photos, don't put your, 
<laughs> don't put a photo of yourself like on top of the heel and there's like this heel and then there's like a little tiny dot that it's you you know make sure that you're not like lost in the photo but you want to you want to be the center of the photo um, not the scenery to be the center of the photo um, if you like pets the same thing right um, I personally didn't care about seeing just a lonely photo of the of the pet that was me I like to see him with the pet because that tells me a lot about I can I can I can feel the warmth I can feel the connection and that to me mattered um, all right last uh, not last sorry number five um, don't put any photos of you with a guy even if it's your brother because um, it just initially can be like oh is she with somebody else like what is going on you know but if it's of uh, and if you do want to do that I personally I'm more private I don't like to put photos of my friends or my um, siblings or my family on my online uh, profile because I also think that it's not respectful to them but that's me but if you are doing make sure to caption it with my brother <laughs> okay and don't use that as your personal uh, like profile photo um, you uh, I would use the close-up as your profile photo okay uh, don't put any photos of you with another woman because guess what whether you are prettier or you're not you are immediately creating another you're creating competition for yourself this is a profile about you not you and your girlfriends he can meet your girlfriends and he can earn that right when you guys date and get to know each other all right so no photos with another woman and last but not least if you want to put out selfies because that's kind of like the thing these days um, sure put maybe one selfie but here's the danger of putting a lot of selfies or making all of your photos be selfies is that it says does she not have a community to take photos of her like does she not have friends so make sure that you do have photos of pictures that have been taken of you all right so these are the seven things that you can implement right away and I'd love to hear from you I'd love to see that when you put these uh, in practice how does it work for you and if you have any questions listen go to the link right down here and it will take you to this video on my website because that's where you can comment and that's where the conversations are and that's where I will definitely respond to you if you have any questions about anything I said in this please ask me I want to hear from you because I'm here to serve you I'm here to provide information for you in these TV episodes so the more I know what you want the clearer um, content I can create for you and last but not least don't forget to subscribe and share this with your friends who can benefit from it because our mission at dating with confidence is to empower women one woman at a time to fall in love with herself to feel trust in her approach in dating and so that she can create the love life that she wants so when you subscribe and when you share not only you're getting um, the next episode that's coming out right away you get a notification for it but also you are helping another woman um, empowering her on her journey to finding love all right I hope uh, you enjoyed this and I will see you at the next episode Mwah. bye now I want to hear from you I want to know what's your biggest insight that you're taking away from this video leave a comment below and don't forget to share this video with your friends join me at dating with confidence and empowering more women on their journey to creating their desired love life